a big pet peeve of mine are those apps that are only available on mobile. Um, even Instagram. The only way that you can uh, upload to Instagram from your desktop is if you get an app for Windows 10 that is not made by uh, Instagram or Facebook. Um, you have to get a third-party version, and then you actually get the option to upload. Otherwise, they don't want you. To, they really don't want you to upload using your desktop. What What is with some of these companies' ideas of this? What is their problem they have with desktop machines? You know, why do they think that everyone wants? To, it's like. Um, no, if you if you take professional-looking photos, we want nothing to do with you. What? What? <laughs> I don't understand that. I, I don't get that at all. And then Google. I mean, look what Google does with, with uh, you know, Google only wants their apps to be on this. Or, oh, you can, you can uh, uh, use it through uh, Google Chrome. A Chrome app. Yeah, like, I don't know, I, I I don't understand it. You know, Google has refused, flat out refused, to make their apps for the Windows 10 platform. Then when Microsoft tried to make, uh, like, a, a, a YouTube app, Google said, well, no, no, uh, you need to come to these standards or we, we're, we're, we're not going to allow you to do that and we're going to try to sue you. It's like, um... You don't have those, you don't require those standards on any other platform, but, oh, it's because it's Microsoft, well, it must be competition, so we, we can't allow that. I mean, Google is purposely going out of their way to be pieces of shit over this sort of thing, you know. Then when Microsoft tries to come to the standards, well, Google won't approve it e anyway. It's, they're just like, they're being pieces of shit about it. I don't really understand that. And uh, what made me make this video in the first place was I'm, I'm watching these, these videos reviewing the Snapchat spectacles. And I'm like, why would someone waste their goddamn money on, a, on uh, waste $130 on something that you can only use on the shitty Snapchat app? That app is garbage. I'm sorry. It's garbage. The search function, I mean, what real search function? I just, the whole thing is set up like fucking garbage. Um, Vine was fun. It was six six second videos, which I still think were too short, but whatever, you know, it should have been like 15 seconds, but you know, at least it was fun. It was a place where you could go for comedy. It was a place where you could go to, to have a good time. And of course they're, they've, they're shutting that down and it's like, great. Um, but at least Vine, I mean, you could, you could get a Windows 10 app version of it and upload from your computer, you know. Um, I, I don't really understand this mindset behind limiting things to just mobile devices. I think it's fucking retarded. But, you know, let's, let's spend $130 for some, a, a pair of, of glasses with, with a camera in it that you can only do anything with on Snapchat. I mean, come on, that's fucking retarded. Why not spend about the same amount of money and get like like I V U E I view glasses that have a camera on it that you can put an SD card in any up to a 32 gigabyte SD card on it record whatever you want copy the files onto your computer and then do whatever the hell you want with it you know that's the way these things should be oh no snapchat oh look snapchat that's fucking retarded i'm sorry you know, I don't get this mindset of, of mobile-only apps. You know, I generally, I, if there's some sort of app, you know, that is only available on, on one of these, I'm like, well, you know, I'll look at it for a, for a little bit, and then I'll usually uninstall it, because I, I just don't see the point. Why limit people to that? What is this, what is the mindset behind that? Like, like Periscope. Why can't you why can't you stream from home? Why wouldn't they let you do that? What's what's the other one? The the competitor to, to Periscope, you know? What what's the deal with that? I I don't get it. I just I seriously seriously don't get it. 
what is what are some of these companies problems with with desktop machines i don't get it it's fucking retarded and you'll never have good quality on them never these things will never have super high quality cameras in them never well okay i won't say never i won't say never but it's not likely in the next few years um there was one camera one one smartphone it was a panasonic i can't remember the the model of it and it had a large uh, cmos sensor in it on it it not still not nearly as large as it APS-C but it was still you know a lot larger than the ones that are normally in these things and i think it only worked on two carriers or one or two carriers you can't use it on Verizon but you know i i just don't get this deal with the hatred of desktop machines like you know like like Instagram Instagram you could you can use it on a Windows 10 phone and be able to upload and have full functionality but if you're on a desktop machine well no we don't we want to uh, we want to cripple it they're crippling it on purpose what is the reasoning behind this what what it, it just doesn't make any sense to me i mean even microsoft kind of jumps on this bandwagon a little bit like this uh, video capture card you see me using right here for this camera they don't want you to be able to use any video capture card as a webcam when you're in the Windows 10 app framework why just what's the deal with that why would you want to cripple, cripple that there was one version uh, released way earlier this year of the uh, insider preview editions of Windows 10 that they allowed for this and I think it was on accident and I'm thinking, well, maybe I should just like try to find that version and see if they'll let me uh, uh, install it. And then if I have to just keep like reinstalling uh, every couple weeks or something like that, uh, at least I'd have the functionality, right? I don't know. I, I don't understand this. It, what is it something where they just is it a, a fear that? Well, you know, we can't allow people to have anything higher quality than anyone else. Let's level the playing field in that way, you know, so everyone's uh, images and videos look just as shitty as everyone else's. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand it. So um, if you have any explanations for this, you know, let me know. I, I'd, I'd like to know what, like, the mindset is behind these decisions. Anyway.